kudos to you. You've utilized your talent, your knowledge, your skills, your, your passion, and you've created a product, but not just any product, a digital product. Now, well, we need to create an e-commerce store so that we can house your product and begin selling it to the masses. How can we achieve this? Easy. With Paperform's digital product e-commerce store, you can easily customize this to suit your personality, your brand, your product. But don't stress, if you don't have a Paperform account, they actually offer a 14 day free trial period. And the best thing about it, no credit card details are needed, none. Whew, that's a stress relief. So, if you don't have a Paperform account, sign up, it's free. And then join me and we'll work through how together we can customize this digital product e-commerce template to better portray your personality and your product. So, from the digital guide purchase form template, that's a tongue twister, we're gonna click the button, use this template, and boom, that's automatically created a copy of the form template in my account. So let's start with the basics. Okay, we want to customize the basic content, the text, and the question fields of our store. So, we can see we've got a heading here, visit Patagonia Guides. We want to treat the text within our form template much like we would a Word doc. I'm going to highlight my text, and we'll see the text option appear above. From here, we can change the appearance, the placement. We can even hyperlink our text. Okay, we've quickly looked at text. Now, let's go below. Here we can see a stunning photograph of the Patagonian region, if I do say so myself. Clicking upon that will bring up, just like our text option bar, an image option bar. From here we can change the appearance, the placement, and again, hyperlink our images, superhero power. If you wish to replace the image with one of your own, simply click that picture icon. And to remove, you guessed it, click the X icon. Now, if you wish to resize your image, Simply go to the bottom right corner and click and drag. I'm personally going to leave mine as a header image. Let's go further down. We can see here our first question field. Paperform offers over 20 different question field types. If you want to change a question field type, you do so by clicking on the drop down menu and making a selection there. To change a question field title, simply click where the text is. And if you'd like to include a question description, Simply click the add some help text area. Begin typing and voila, you're away. First and foremost, before we look at the other question fields, we're gonna take a look at our product field. Why? Well, this is a digital product e-commerce store, so I'm pretty sure that's important. All right, here we're gonna look at how you can upload your products and begin selling it on your store. So we're gonna to go to the gear icon, Click it and that'll enter the configuration for our product field. From here we have the basic settings, the appearance, which is how the product field will appear on the front end, that is to our customers, and then the products. From here, we're going to customize what products are stocked so that it correlates with the products you actually have. Okay, if you wish to remove any of these dummy products, simply hover and you have the ability to click the trash can to delete change where it's placed by clicking the arrows, and you can even duplicate one of your products by clicking that copy icon there. Pretty easy so far, I know, I know. If you wish to change the title, the SKU, the price, and the allocated stock, being a digital product, I don't think that's gonna be an issue for you. You do so in the main configuration here. From here, you can also add images and remove those current dummy ones too. We've taken a look at that, but what happens if you have a vast amount of products you wanna upload? It's gonna be painstakingly annoying to upload each individual product. So, you can easily import your products from a CSV file, that's a spreadsheet, by clicking the import button. If you wanna know how the CSV file should be set up, easy. Click the export button and that'll give you a template to work with. We've looked at products, now let's take a look at the rest of the form. Jump out and let's scroll down to a calculation field. Now, I'm not gonna go into full detail, but if you'd like to learn more about calculation fields, there'll be a link below, so click that and take a look at the helpful article. 
We're gonna jump into the configuration of this calculation field by once again clicking our gear icon. And we're gonna take a quick look at this formula. What is currently occurring is we're using the method of answer piping. Once again, if you do wanna learn more about answer piping or anything in this video, take a look at the links below. By clicking on the icon here, it's gonna bring up all the question fields that currently reside within our form or our store. Now what we've done here is we've selected our product field. As we can see here, guides available, guides available. And what we're really doing here is we're creating a sort of short checkout summary. So I'm gonna jump onto the live view of our form so that you can take a look at how it will appear to our customer. The form will load. They'll make a selection of which digital product they wanna purchase. Personally, I'm gonna get the marble caves. Click that, go to the next. And then we can see here that a checkout summary has been created. We've piped our selection in, marble caves, guide, we've added that dollar symbol, and then we piped in the total cost of product selected, which is 10, buckaroonies, very cheap. So marble caves guide at $10. Then we've included a yes or no question field that'll prompt the submitter or the customer to select whether they'd like to continue and then move along with the payment process. Let's jump back into the form editor and take a look at how we've made this on a separate page. Okay, we're in the form editor and now we're gonna be taking a look at how we broke up our form into different pages. How do we break it up? Quite literally with a break. You can see this blue line underneath our product field and above our calculation field. And what this is, is a page break. So whenever we're creating a form or a store, we want the flow of the form to not scare our customers off. It can't be too busy. How do we achieve that? Well, with a page break, of course. A blue line represents a page break, and if we enter the configuration, select on the same page, we can see that a red line refers to a section break. I'm gonna change that back to a page break, and then take a look at the rest of the question fields we've included in this store. We've included another page break. Once again, let's break up that flow and make it enticing for our customer. We've included a personal details title and we've simply asked for their first name, their last name, and we've also included an email question field below that. We've then again included another page break and below that we've created a terms and conditions type question. We've used the yes or no question type field and then we've simply created a title, terms and conditions, and then in the description we've included some dummy terms and condition text. All right. We've taken a look at the basics of this e-commerce store. So now let's take a look at jazzing it up. We want to better portray your personality, your business, your product. And we can do so by heading to the top right and clicking on that colored water drop icon. This will open up our theme settings. From here we can change the colors, the fonts, the look and feel of our buttons. You even have the ability to translate your form to any language of your choosing. So have a play around with those settings and jazz up the form so it better suits your product. Let's make it appealing and attractive. Now, I'm gonna show you the superhero features of this template. We're gonna jump out of the theme settings. I'm gonna go after submission, emails. What we're gonna create now is an automatic after submission email. Let's say for instance, you're the buyer, you are the customer, you make a purchase of Marble Caves, you run through the payment process, and the funds come out of your bank. All well and good. But we wanna send a confirmation email to our customer, and with that confirmation email, we wanna include a receipt. So, from here, we're gonna click Add Email, then we're gonna select the icon next to Two. Once again, we're following the answer piping method, and we're gonna select that email address question. Now, every time that someone submits the form and purchases a product, this email is automatically gonna capture their response to the email address question and fire that email straight to their inbox. How easy is that? The automatic process makes it so much easier for you to think of many more creative digital products. Also, we wanna include a subject, which I'll simply put thank you, and then we want to ensure on the drop down menu next to include receipt in this email, we select yes. Now, if you'd like to make your email body more personal, 
You can also pipe in answers from the form. Let's say for instance I type hi, then I'm going to click on this answer icon here and select the first name question field. So, me being Alex, if I received this email, it would say hi Alex because that's what I've responded to the first name question field with. It's getting personal. You're building a relationship with your customers. Once you've completed that, simply click add email and voila, that has been set up for you. Now let's take a look at success pages and redirects. This is where it's gonna get a bit more funky. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna scroll down. We can see we have the standard title, submission successful, and description, thanks we have received your submission. But again, we're taking a look at the superhero features. So we're gonna scroll down until we reach dynamic success pages and redirects. Toggling this on and scrolling down, we can add a dynamic success page. What's a dynamic success page? Well, with a dynamic success page, you have so many more options. The design, conditional redirects, you can even choose how long the customer will wait before they're redirected. So feel free to change that. It's very easy, it's very simple, and I promise you it's gonna be a better experience for your customer. Now, how are you going to provide your digital product to your customer? Is it gonna be through the email, or is it gonna be through a redirect link? If you'd like to know how you can set up an automatic download link, take a look in this video above. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep working through the rest of this e-commerce store so that you can begin selling your digital product. So, from here, we're gonna jump back to the editor and we're now gonna take a look at something really exciting. Integrations. Integrations, you might ask? Yep, integrations. Integrations allow you to connect your form or your store with secondary platforms, such as HubSpot, MailChimp, ClickSend, platforms that allow you to build and blossom relationships with your customer. Paperform offers a vast amount of direct integrations, but they also offer thousands of other integrations through Zapier, Instagram app, and if you're a web developer, start having a play around with webhooks. So, from after submissions, we're gonna click integrations and webhooks, and from here you'll see the extensive list that Paperform offers. All right. I'm gonna let you have a play around with those. Now, final steps, we are so close. You wanna go up to the top left and click on configure. From here, you wanna give a title to your store, a description, a cover image, and you also have the ability to set up a custom URL. Well, you've done it. You've created an elegant, beautiful e-commerce store, and I know the customers are going to love your product, and they're now going to love the store that your product is housed on. And I bet you're gonna start receiving some sales, which is all good, but what is not so good is receiving sales and not receiving payment. We need to take a look at connecting a payment gateway. Paperform currently supports Square, Stripe, PayPal, and Braintree. And the process to connect these is incredibly simple, which I'm sure you thought was going to be the case after taking a look at how easy it is to customize this template. So, we've got two ways that we can achieve this. One, we can head to that product field and simply click on connect payment account. Or, from here we'll head up to configure and then select payments. All we need to do is click manage all payment accounts and then follow the prompts to add your Square, Stripe, PayPal or Braintree account. Now, you've taken a look at jazzing up your e-commerce store You've looked at some superpower features, allowing your customer relationships to blossom. You've also taken a look at connecting a payment gateway. So, I don't think there's much all from me. Once again, if you did wanna take a look at how you can create an automatic downloadable link for your customers, which you could include in an email, in the success page, as a redirect, then take a look at this video where I explain that process here. Other than that, I don't have much else to say. Good luck and happy form making.